Hey everyone, so I'm just gonna do a quick rundown on centrifuga fans, otherwise called blowers, eh? and axial fans, eh? which are most commonly seen in your average ATX desktop computer or any other tower for that matter. So, um, blowers are notorious for being noisy, and they're also they, they're often more expensive than XL fans, eh? but they do have certain capabilities that XL fans don't. So, um, but the it's actually very simple. There's one um, capability, one capability that they have over all the others, which is that uh, the pressure that they're able to generate, whether it's negative or even positive, they can do both. So, um, if you take a look under here, this is a an impeller like design which draws the air in through here and then it spins it out from the center and then it blows it out through here right? so the pressure generated at the outlet is uh, much higher than that of an axial fan outlet and negative pressure generated at the inlet is much better than that generated at an axial fan inlet so <coughs> so this is just a this is the same exact type of fan just a smaller version to it this is 120 milli millimeters and if I remember correctly this one is 40 millimeters yeah. mm -hmm. so this is um almost identical to what you'd see in a laptop it's just um, a general purpose design this but it does work exactly the same way so um <coughs> blowers uh, are able to force air through highly constricted areas that axial fans cannot so for example um, a laptop is the most common example of that. Um, virtually all laptops these days have um, blowers in them, right? Eh? Because there's very little space in between the parts of a laptop for you to pass through, and that is going to generate, uh, um, it's going to pose a problem. Because if you try to use an Excel fan, it's not really going to, the air is not going to pass through, essentially. So, you need something to force air through those uh, tiny gaps uh, in a laptop uh, and blowers do that effectively. You can try attaching an axial fan to an inlet vent at, vent at the bottom of your laptop and you'll see that it's going to have almost no effect uh, and it's not going to be terribly helpful. The main purpose of that type of fan, if you see it in a laptop cooling pad for example, is just to um, help accelerate airflow underneath the pad itself but it doesn't um, help the laptop that much <coughs> I mean it doesn't um, help that much to increase airflow through the laptop the cooling pads job really is to elevate the laptop right so um, a common application of larger doors like these is rack servers uh, and uh, an upcoming one is all-in-one desktop PCs. So both of those have significant uh, space constrictions, uh, especially the servers, uh, and especially if it's a thin design, and uh, they need uh, um, the air to be forced through them. So in the case of uh, <coughs> ATX desktop like that, too, um, there's actually plenty of space around the parts for air to pass through with a very at a very low pressure at the low pressure generated by axial fans like these eh? so they don't need blowers because blowers are known to be a little noisy and they can also be more expensive in some cases it is energy efficient than axial fans so um, whether whether you choose a blower or an external fan for your project, whether you're building something or for your computer or modifying something. Um, just um, ask yourself this one simple question. Is, uh, is there much space in there for you to pass through? If the answer is yes, so use an external fan. If not, use a blower. And if you're using filtration, whether it's a HEPA filter or a carbon filter or a um, or um, um, or even mesh, you definitely want a blower for that application because an XL fan is going to have issues with that. 
you'll end up with thermal issues. Anyway, thanks for watching.